How's it going guys? Guys, hope you guys have a great week. So it is Game News Friday guys. So I am back today with another game related news video and opinion video. And this one is actually centered on EA this week guys. There's been a lot of news uh, surrounding EA and also Ubisoft. But there was some news this week that made me happy and then didn't make me happy so i'm going to talk about that today so basically this week ea dropped its official second quarterly earnings report state public statement which it releases for its investors which basically talks about how they've done financially in the second quarter and their future plans going ahead so in this report in this public announcement ea did talk about a few things that have me excited and it looks like potentially there might be and it might very well happen that we might finally get a mass effect remastered trilogy which i i and i know a lot of other fans have been asking for for a very long time so basically ea announced in a public statement that during the period between april 20th and march 2021 that they are going to release uh, remasters of fan favorite franchises, um, which of course will include the previously announced Command and Conquer remaster as well. Now, of course, EA didn't really go into too much specific detail as to uh, what these remasters are or which games we could expect to see, um, except to say that they are planning them. Uh, maybe they're planning to have them released around the release of the PlayStation 5 and the new Xbox. Uh, maybe they're planning them to be released next gen or maybe they're planning them to, to be available on the PlayStation 4. I don't know. We don't know what's going to come out, but kind of has me excited because when I'm thinking about it, the Mass Effect would make a huge amount of sense um, for EA to release that trilogy. There has been so much demand uh, for the Mass Effect series to be re-released, to be remastered, and I know a lot of people, myself included, would probably snatch that up straight away. We're heavily disappointed with the Mass Effect Andromeda and you know really really love the trilogy and i think if ea did it they'd make a lot of fans very very happy there's obviously other titles that we could think about as well maybe need for speed could be one maybe dead space would be a good game to release the you know remastered uh, possibly but we do know there are going to be some remasters coming we also know as well that ea mentioned that uh, during the same period they also have two unannounced projects from third party partners so in all likelihood, it's probably going to be some EA original titles. So possibly two indie titles that we don't know about. They're going to be coming out. And they have also mentioned a... Uh, very secretive uh, sports game. Another sports game is going to be coming out as well. I don't know if that includes the annual releases for the sports titles um, that they generally release or it's going to be something completely new. Um, but that was a news that had me super, super excited. We then got some other news which was a bit disappointing and you know made me think oh maybe yeah i haven't learned and maybe they're not really changing <laughs> because you know this year they've done some pretty shit things with fifa um 2020 a lot of really crappy things with loot boxes the embarrassment of surprise mechanics and everything involved in that but then it seemed that towards the back end of the year that they were starting to maybe get a clue and starting to maybe listen to fans and starting to maybe try to change their ways or, or use, you know, d different um, approaches to things with the introduction, obviously, of uh, Jedi Knight Fallen Order, which we're told is a completely single player experience, will have uh, no microtransactions, no loot boxes to be found and, you know, no pay to win mechanics and is it, it sounds like it's going to be a great, great experience. It's basically, the game is touted to be a cross between uh, obviously Star Wars, Dark Souls, um, Uncharted, um, and it just it just sounds great. It sounds great. It looks great. The gameplay too, and I'm I'm actually really excited for it. But it seemed that you know EA were kind of maybe learning, particularly when you compare them to Bethesda and the recent embarrassment with Bethesda. But unfortunately, from the sounds of this um, quarterly earnings statement. 
Maybe that's not the case. So EA also reported that in the quarter two of their fiscal 2020 year, that actually they've done, financially speaking, they've done very, very well. Uh, they actually reported that they have total net revenues of 1.348 billion which is actually up when compared to last year, which was about 1.286 billion. Um, this is thanks predominantly to a strong performance from both digital sales and console and PC. Um, they also saw very strong sales for some of its major sports titles, including FIFA 20, uh, Madden NFL 20 and NHL 20, uh, all of which launched in the second quarter of this year. And the EA executives, of course, Andrew Wilson is incredibly happy uh, with these financial results and with uh, EA's overall performance. When asked about it, he said he thought that the uh, they did excellent um, and that he actually thought that uh, a lot of the new EA sports titles, and I'm going to quote directly here because it's just so hilarious, um, our new EA Sports titles are thrilling core fans and bringing in new players and our ongoing live services are growing with deeply engaged communities. I don't know whether I quite believe that. Of course, FIFA is a massive franchise. Of course, people are going to buy it. But there was a lot of backlash this year with the loot boxes involved in it. Um, there was a lot of issues with how the game was missold um, and how the age rain, age rate rating on the game was wrong as well. Um, there's a lot of issues with it this year. But what kind of makes me a little nervous is Blake Jorgensen, who is EA's chief financial and operating officer. And he basically said that EA were, in essence, going to double down on live services. And games like Apex Legends, The Sims 4, Ultimate Team Sports game, obviously did very well this year. And uh, they were just planning to uh, double down on live services and um, combine that with their core franchises as well. Obviously, EA are making a lot of money from their live services. They're incredibly profitable. They actually seem to be doing more profits um, than they were last year, which I just think is, is shocking because it's not like these games have massively improved or offered anything particularly new. If anything, they've just in introduced more microtransactions, more bullshit loot box mechanics. Obviously, that's people are buying them. Clearly, people are buying them and it's making them a lot of money. What makes me nervous is whether or not um, this, this uh, success that EA have had financially is going to encourage them and is going to make them think, yeah, the only way for them to move forward is to make every single game a live service game. That isn't the case. I'm hoping that they've realized that and I am hoping that Jedi Knight fallen order will do very very well i'm hoping that uh, you know if it is a single player game with no rubbish microtransactions and loot boxes and it sells and performs well and gets very good critical scores and reviews I want this game to succeed because I want it to send the message to EA that you don't have to have loot boxes in your games, that every single game you have doesn't need to be, um, you know, games as a service. So I really am hoping that, that they uh, they realize this and I'm hoping that EA are starting to maybe broaden what they're doing. So maybe they have they can have some single player games and of course some live services because they, of course that's good for their investors. It brings in money, it brings in profits. FIFA is already broken, NFL is already broken. It's a shame that they're at that state, but I'd much rather they stay as they are than you know, really destroy other franchises and other development teams you know, like, for example, the Dead Space team that, that were so good at making single player experiences and Bioware that were so good at making single player experiences and are just kind of a shell of what they used to be. And, and, and you know, you look at Anthem and it didn't do very well at all. It was a massive disappointment. They didn't even mention it in, in this report, of course, because they wouldn't because this is talking about the second quarter. But yeah, so this week we had some great news, you know, we might actually be getting a Mass Effect remastered trilogy, finally, that has me very excited, but then in the same front, EA might be potentially doubling down on its live services, so EA giving with one hand and taking away with the other hand from the sounds of it. So yeah, that's generally the news that hit this week, um, a little bit mixed on it to be fair. 
most excited about the remaster trilogy if if we do get a mass effect remaster trilogy i will absolutely be buying it i i have to mass effect is my favorite franchise and I, i'm really excited at the prospect of owning that on you know playstation 4 or the next playstation 5 i'm really excited about playing the game back through again i would even heavily consider doing a marathon live stream for you guys um on my twitch channel to play it through in its entirety all three games um so i would heavily consider that if there was interest in it hell i'd even consider doing a let's play series if there was enough interest in that as well um, for you guys to, to check that out but um, if you've never played the Mass Effect trilogy and EA do release it as a remaster um, then I highly recommend that you pick it up and you play it it is a great single player experience um, even the multiplayer Mass Effect 3 was, was actually a lot of fun and um, it is well worth picking up so that's the news that we had this week let me know what your th thoughts are in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on Remastered Edition? What would you like to see remastered? Which series would you like to see remastered? If EA do release a remastered Mass Effect trilogy or other franchises, would you actually buy them? Do you have an interest in that? And of course, let me know your, your thoughts um, and comments, of course, on this whole doubling down on a live service and what are your general thoughts and opinions on that? Anyway, that's just a couple of my thoughts on the news this week with EA. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, of course, found it interesting. If you did, please hit a like, please subscribe, please comment. Have a great, uh, have a great week, guys and girls, and uh, I'll be back again with more videos. I'm currently working on my Borderlands 3 review right now. I've finished the script, I've recorded it, and I'm actually in the middle of editing it. It's taking me a while, but I'm really, really happy with it, so I'm looking forward to getting that finished and obviously getting that uploaded on here. So hopefully that will come in the next couple of days, guys. So please look out for that anyway. Yep, so I hope you guys have a great week. Take care, and as always, happy gaming. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.